What are the defining characteristics of experiential learning? Experiential learning promotes active and deep learning. It requires students to set objectives, apply their knowledge and skills, and relate new ideas to their existing knowledge. Successful students in EL know how to problem solve, adapt to new situations, and work both independently and collaboratively as part of a team. Reflection is also a key piece of EL. Students need to be able to apply their learning, take risks, and take the time to consider the different facets of the experience. In due course, students mature and many can realize professional and personal growth. Incorporating EL into course structure allows instructors to connect with settings and practitioners in the field and enables instructors to connect theory to practice. This unique perspective can serve as a transformative teaching and mentoring experience. For employers and community partners, experiential learning goes one step further as it offers an opportunity to work with the next generation of employees and learn from students who are being educated in up-to-the-minute technologies and research. The additional benefits derived from collaboration are numerous, including opportunities to advance research, take innovative risks, respond to industry and community needs, and evolve workplace culture. So experiential learning really opened my eyes to a lot of other employment opportunities and potential career paths that I didn't even know about before I started my, my project work. Um, if I hadn't gotten engaged and involved in that, I wouldn't have even known that this field of study in the, in the health sciences area existed. And it really helped me to understand that this is a potential career opportunity for me in the future. And I really found that I enjoyed it a lot. From a faculty perspective, I would say doing these kind of projects has brought another element to the other teaching that I would do. So I also teach a course in health administration and within that course it's a large course and it's looking very much at theory, lecture based. I'll do some small uh, cases in class but having that knowledge of what the students are doing in a real world context and even just talking to my partners and understanding that allows me to bring that learning back into my teaching and the students thrive on those examples. It's not just from the textbook. It's like Madeline was at a meeting and she learned this. Wow, like that, I see how that all connects. Communications courses are mandatory courses across the college sector. Students take these and often there's an engagement piece because it's not an area that they're majoring in here at, at Georgian. You know, there's some um, lag in interest. And so uh, also there's a whole kettle of, of important skills that students aren't necessarily um, engaging with, but in communications courses they, they can. So my entry point into experiential learning is, hey, if I get students doing something they care about uh, and they actually experience it, then their interest in communicating about it will increase exponentially. And, and I found that to be the case. So when students are uh, engaging in something that they uh, feel is meaningful and authentic and important to their learning and it's going to connect them to community um, and to potential employers, they put out better work. Know that when you're engaged in this, you're doing great things for your students. These, these are really authentic moments of learning, right, where students can actually uh, experience, get feedback, think back on their practice, and, and they're more apt to be engaged, they're more apt to participate. So the win for you as, as a faculty or a practitioner is that you're going to see your students um, heightened in terms of where they see themselves in relation to a career. And so, you know, the, the best the best advice is go for it. Uh, it's worth, worth the investment up front. So, you know, take, take the time for development. And, and my own anecdotal experiences are that the payoff is that you win that time back in spades without some of the struggles that you might have in, in your classes regularly. I would say it, it changes the perspective of the company, right? I mean, if you're just hiring people and fighting people, the, the culture is going to be different. When, when you look at, hey, this guy, we want to be part of the community, we want to give back to the community. That kind of builds the culture where the team is, you know what, I'm part of the community. We're not just working for this company, we're working in the region, we're part of the community. And some of my full time, like, I, I don't have too many full times, like, here and there, but they take ownership sometimes. They say, you know what, don't worry about it, I'll, I'll take care of the co-op. I'll, I'll mentor them, I'll sit for them. So it, it gives them that kind of ownership thinking, you know what, I'm not just working for a company, I'm impacting the community. 